Hey everybody, welcome to this interesting case. This is Richard, you may remember him from, did we freeze some lesions on your skin? Yes. But they've healed up and now you have something new. As you can see it, you can kind of see it on the, on the, on the other side of his face there. On the, his right side of his face has these lesions that showed up uh, Monday, right? Monday. You woke up Monday, which was Monday yesterday. Morning. And what's it feel like? It's a uh, itchy, sensitive, uh, little bit of burning. And even just like a breeze or wind touching it is sensitive? I don't recall that part. It's yeah. a little uh, sore. Even to something just touching it? Yeah, like touch it. Just light touch feels like a pain? Just a slight. Okay. It, it isn't any, especially on top of the head, on here. And it's just on the right side? Yeah, it's all on the right side. Like a line there, right down the middle, huh? Mm -hmm. So we're, we're really quite suspicious for this being shingles because of its one-sidedness and the description of the sensation. This uh, very, very sensitive to touch, you say a little burning, maybe yeah. slightly itchy? Itchy is a more okay. thing. But it doesn't have the classic uh, blisters or vesicles, fluid-filled uh, lesions structures that we see with uh, the classic shingles. It also does not stick to one dermatome. Usually you'll have it either above or below the eye, not both above and below. Mm. So we have uh, some reasons to think it could be something else, but there's enough that suggests shingles that we need to treat as if it is. And whenever we have shingles in the dermatome that includes the eye, we need to refer to an eye specialist to do a special exam to make sure there's no lesions on the eye. And we already looked in the ear and saw there was nothing inside the ear, it looked normal. And with close-up on these, it looks like your pores have little scabs over them and they're, they're swollen, but it doesn't look like true vesicles. So this may not be shingles, but we're gonna treat it as if it is. And if we're able to have an update, we'll certainly either put it in the description or put it on the, the blog, auburnmedicalgroup.com, where we put an entry for this. Uh, but we're going to treat with uh, a medicine called Valacyclovir, an antiviral medicine for the virus that causes shingles. It treats viruses in the herpes family. And we are also going to uh, have available for you a medicine called Neurontin or Gabapentin in case it hurts. And it'll help for sleeping at night. You can take one or two of them if you, if you need. Uh, but if it's not that bad during the day, you don't have to. Now here we are a week later and the lesions are almost completely imperceptible. You can still see barely where there's a little crust, which actually looks pretty classic for when somebody has had shingles. Uh, the good news is the, the pain is completely gone. Yeah. Completely gone. And I would attribute that to using the, the antiviral, the valacyclovir, which does, if you get it within a couple days, does help to clear up and helps you to keep from post herpetic neuralgia, which is where after having an infection with a herpes virus, like herpes zoster in this case, it continues to hurt and hurt, and that didn't happen, thankfully, for you. Right. The only pain I was feeling was around the top of my head. Just the top, and now it's fine, and you can touch it? Yep. Not, not hurting? No. Okay. So that's a successful treatment of herpes zoster or shingles. We're pretty sure that's what it is now based on its response to the antiviral and the appearance of the skin now with those little yellow crusts <clears throat> where there used to be what weren't true vesicles. They weren't actually fluid-filled, but... That's, um... You did see some. Okay, yeah. So that's another successful treatment. Hey, thanks for joining us. If you like medical procedures, go ahead and click here to see some more videos. And if you haven't already subscribed, please click over here or over here to subscribe. Until next time, this is Richard and Dr. Mark Vaughn telling you to stay in good health.